Good morning, guys. I am um, getting some stuff for my beach vacation, and I'm really trying to decide what the best sunblock is. I really like this copper tone, and it's 50 SPF, and it says UVA UVB. Um, is that the same as when it says broad spectrum? Because not all of them have this combo. Some of them just kind of say just broad spectrum. I don't really know what that means, but I think I am going to go with this copper tone. And I'm also picking up this Neutrogena. See, that's this broad spectrum, cool dry. I don't know, I don't think the sprays are as good, to be honest. So I think I might put that back. Why is it blurry? Um, I got the Revlon, these little balms. I think these are gonna be great out in the sun. They even have SPF of 20. I don't know why my camera's not. What? Is nuts. I have no idea why it's not focusing, but I got now it is the balm. This is in just peach, juicy peach, sorry. And this one is in fresh strawberries, fresh strawberry. So it has a little tint to it, so it'll be like a lipstick, but not with sun protection. And then I'm getting this. Revlon Plumping Lip Cream in the color Fresh Petal. Looks good. And then I needed some of my, more of my BB cream. I think I want to try the It Cosmetics CC cream next, but um, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this one a go one more time and then I'm gonna try the CC cream when I come back home from my vacation. All right, now I need to basically go get shampoo, conditioner to take with us, and uh, yeah, all those little travel things, I guess. There we go. Probably need this anti frizz. Ooh, one minute hair mask. So, a trick that I do at the beach is I take, I get another bottle of, um, I get another bottle of conditioner and put it in my beach bag and take it with me on the beach. And then I'll put conditioner in my hair before I go into the ocean. And then that way my hair's not so dry. And it works every time.
All right, I picked a couple of things like water and waffles. <laughs> um, slightly random, but I'm gonna go over here now and take a look at some of their shoes and maybe some of their bags, even though I already got a beach bag uh, from Walmart not too long ago. I still wanna kinda, oh, how cute. How adorable. That is so cute. Oh, those look like great beach bags. Let's go down here. Look at these little hair things. What was my deal with neon? This one's so pretty. This one's my favorite. Oh, wow. Look at all of this. This is me. They have these waterproof accessory pouches. Put your cell phone in here for five, six dollars. They also have this one. There's really nothing else. So these must have been super popular. Usually I go cheap and just put mine in a Ziploc bag. But honestly, even sand gets in that. Sand finds its way into everything. Okay, so you see that bag right there on the bottom? I have that bag for the beach. Cute. This one's very nautical looking. girl's gonna need a hat, I'll tell you that much. There's always so much to look at. Alright, which hat do we love? Oh, the little pom-poms. I'm trying to think of my bathing suits. little cover-ups. I have enough of those. I haven't bought a new cover-up in so long. The ones I have have just been working out really well. I just don't know which hat I like. I think I might go to Sam Moon's and check there because I just I'm not I don't want to buy just to buy but that one is really cute. Alright, so here are some of the bags, but they're playing music overhead, so this may not work out. And I think I've actually shown these in a previous Walmart shop with me. This one I really liked. I remember that. A little. Oh, I love this little tote. How oh, cute. But if you are subscribed to my vlog channel. This is like the whole place. This is where I do my hauls. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got at Walmart. It, I'm hoping I got enough decent clips, but 
Listen, I got some blueberry waffles. These are my favorite and my daughter's favorite. And I got some bread. I'm trying not to get too much food because we're gonna be leaving soon. And so I'm not doing like a full grocery shop, basically, but still wanna make sandwiches and all things like that. My daughter needs body wash just for home. So I got her the Dove. She prefers the Dove, so I just get this for her. And this time I picked the Gentle Exfoliating. I think I've picked this one for her before. And as you saw, I picked up this Revlon Plumping Lip Cream. I'm really interested, hoping this is gonna be a flattering color on my skin tone. It's 520 in Fresh Petal. Never heard of this. I've never seen this on YouTube or anything. Um, I, I don't watch that many makeup tutorials for whatever, but I'm excited about that. And really excited about the body washes that I got for vacation. So I decided to go with two because I feel like scents, people are very particular about their scents. So I figured you can't go wrong with one or the other of these. Maybe you can, but I got pineapple papaya. I love the color. It smells amazing and it's sulfate free. So I'm really excited about that. It just, you guys, if you go to Walmart, stop by and smell this and tell me what you think because this smells divine. It smells like the pineapple gummy bear and the um, Haribo, Haribo gummy bears, which is my favorite is the pineapple gummy bear. Then I got the same brand, but I got the Shea Butter. It says for extremely, for severely dry skin. Uh, no one really has severely dry skin, but it's still Shea Butter and I feel like anyone can benefit from that. And it's just, it's a nice, good scent. I feel like it's not over the top and it's not really florally or fruity or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, it's an earthy, you know, it's an earthy type scent. So I'm gonna pack these two away for the trip and the shampoo I decided to go with for the trip as well is this whole blends coconut water and aloe vera. I always do this whenever I go on a beach vacation, I tend to get things that are beachy like pineapple, papaya and coconut, but then I get that on a daily basis anyway because I love, I love tropical stuff. Silicone free and this even came with a little bonus shampoo. Um, yeah, so Going to get these packed away. I always make the mistake of not bringing this on vacation then I have to pick it up at the Walmart there and it's just, it's just too crazy, too out of control and I'm, I don't have that much room in my car but I'm gonna pack that. I got some shampoo, deodorant. I did get the expensive one off of Amazon that is um, aluminum free. I'm still testing that out. I know this is not good for you because it literally says aluminum right there on it um, but this is what works on me and I still think that the other one works too but I have to apply it more often anyway I just got this as just like a, a backup and yep and then I also got my toothpaste I get the pro enamel so got that and then I picked up another thing of my BB cream this is basically my foundation now um, and concealer. I don't even really spot treat that often either. And yeah, so I got the BB cream in 110 light medium. And I picked up these, which I think I've already talked about on the shopping portion. I'm again excited that they have the SPF and this is probably what I'll end up wearing. I don't even know that I will bring any other lipsticks because I will definitely need that UV protection Every year I go on vacation, something happens. I could honestly do a story time for every year the past six years. I think this is, is I think this is gonna be my sixth year going. So the past five years, I have a story to tell you of all the unfortunate events that occur for me. And last year, I, I had this huge blister that traveled down to the middle of my nose and it made my eyes look really weird and and then my lips blistered up. It was just awful. So anyway, got these, hoping that's gonna help a little bit. And I got some loofahs. These are a, a better deal in my opinion than Dollar Tree. They're 97 cents for two. 
So I got four because, um, you know, me plus my daughter and her friends. So that way everyone has their own little loofah. And I got this outdoor blanket. I don't think this was in the shop with me. And the reason why I decided to get this is because we're always putting down a bunch of, you know, beach towels. It's just not enough wide space so that the center of your blanket doesn't have sand in it, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But there's going to be sand in the center anyway, so who cares? But I got an outdoor blanket, and I think this is cool because, yeah, it comes with its own little carrying case and everything, and I really love the yellow and the pattern. It's really pretty. And then I got some toothpaste for the vacation for the kids. One thing of toothpaste, that's the other thing because we are driving and there are so many of us in the car. I try to really scale down on duplicating items like double hair dryers, flat irons, curlers, things like that. So one toothpaste for everybody. And then I got hand soap for the kitchen. And then I went with the Copper Tone 50. I decided to put the Neutrogena one back. I just feel like sprays, I feel like spray-ons are great for if you're gonna be out for like an hour or two, but I feel like if you're gonna consistently be under the sun at the beach, I think you need like a rub-in lotion just because you will cover more surface. I don't know, just what I think. Someone last year in my family did a spray and you could see the spots where the spray didn't evenly land and you can't really tell with a spray. You can't really see it. So I'm, yeah. So we're gonna go with the good old, good old regular rubbing sunscreen. So anyway, that is basically it. That is my haul. Thank you guys for coming along with me to Walmart and stop by, smell this. Let me know what you guys think. So I think it just smells divine. Mm. And that's it for today's video. I'll see you later. Bye.